Have you looked into Blood and Plunder before? This game has got to be one of the best looking games I've ever seen. It is presented so well and it just looks so pretty on the tabletop. My name is Jay and you're watching Must Contain Minis. In some ways this post is almost like a love letter to Blood and Plunder. It has got to be one of the best looking games on the tabletop I've ever seen. I have plenty of pictures in this post and many new ones as well. This video features shoutouts to painters as well as Blood and Plunder enthusiasts and it also talks about how I got myself into the game. The first time I ever saw or heard of Blood and Plunder, it was through Beasts of War. From there, I eventually saw it at a convention and I jumped at the chance to give it a try. Tom Pace and Sean Martin guided me through my first game. I thought the ships and miniatures looked awesome and I wanted to get in too. After my first taste of Blood and Plunder, Firelock Games sent me along a review copy of some miniatures as well as the rules. Here are some of my French Blood and Plunder figures partially painted in a terrain review. This shows you that even when not fully painted, the miniatures look stunning. A year or two later I went back to that convention where I first played Blood and Plunder and another group was running the same game. Looks fantastic. I then got in touch with a group of people through Facebook and got to play Blood and Plunder a couple cities away from where I live. Looks awesome on the tabletop and it's a lot of fun. If you want to dive deeper into any of these previous stories that I talked about, take a look at my Blood and Plunder section on Must Contain Minis, the website. There you'll find written articles that contain these pictures and more. Now let's get to the new stuff. Here are the miniatures from my Dutch starter set. Now on top of that, I also bought two canoes and a piragua. I painted up the canoes and the boat. My friend Dave Lammers painted up the Dutch miniatures. Dave paints to a tabletop standard and is really good at painting lots of miniatures fast. Taking a top down look at the miniatures, you can see that their bases are smaller than they would be for similar size models in other games. The reason for this is so we can fit more models on the boats. Now let's take a closer look at those miniatures again. They look pretty good from a distance, and Dave doesn't like me doing it, but I'm going to zoom in. I'm really happy with how these models look, and yes, Dave does take in commissions. This is the Piragua with a crew of Dutch sailors. I tossed a cannon on the front as the rules permit upgrading the ship into a light gunboat. Now onto my sloop full of Spanish crew. This time, Jeremy Cata of Forbes Hobbies painted the boat. He takes commissions and when people ask who's good at scale models and vehicles, this is the guy I go to. He also teaches people how to paint and has great attention to detail. Here he is working on my galleon. It looks amazing so far. And Bill of Phoenix Games and Hobbies painted up my Spanish miniatures. Now that was a pleasant surprise. I gave the miniatures to my friend Brendan to paint, and they came back painted by Bill. Brendan and Bill, thank you both. They look amazing. Now let's combine these figures with the boat that Jeremy painted. This is some serious eye candy here. That is what I love most about Blood and Plunder. How awesome it looks on the tabletop. I have some more pictures to show you before combining all the pieces into a nice little scene. These models and miniatures are just so pleasing and appealing to collect that I want to get them all. Now let's combine everything together into a fun little scene. Here we have a group of Dutch trying to take over a Spanish sloop. Oh yes, I almost forgot to say, these are 28mm in size, they're on the larger size of 28mm, and if you want scale comparison images, there will be a link in the description below for that too. The images you can get with the models of this game are absolutely phenomenal. Game mechanics are also fun. There's a written review of the game on Must Contain Minis. 
For those wondering, the miniatures in this photo shoot are 25 per side. There's 25 Spanish and 25 Dutch. They happen to be the Spanish and Dutch starter sets that are available through the Firelock Games website. Firelock Games makes absolutely beautiful miniatures. Pair that with a good game system where you can play on land, on sea, or a combination of the two and you got a real winning product here. This game is so gorgeous, I couldn't help but fall in love. Have you tried this game? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining me in this showcase and discussion of Blood and Plunder by Firelock Games. In the description below, you will find links to the articles that I wrote related to the pictures in this video, as well as links to the painters that I use and links to Firelock Games. Until next time, happy gaming everyone.